All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, last this time, it's Ixion and Sarah's Night Only. It's Ixion and Sarah's Night Only. For now. The other two are out on a quest. They're questing for booty. <laughs> anyway. Uh, last time we saw Jack at the laboratory. Oh. Crap. Oh, this sucks, but at least I have two guys in. Oh, ready for that. Oh, I just can't keep running from you. Well, they have a high chance to give you. Oh, cool, he automatically gets health. Oh, that's, that's good. Good. I don't know. No, that's, that's a steal. This isn't protected very well, so it might not help that much. Well, man, I'm the I mean, I, I would like uh, somebody who auto regens. Zombie regen. <laughs> Every time, so I can leave them there. I'm like, it's like the monsters are just getting stronger, but not. It's not like taking more, you know, bullets to kill them or anything. It seems like they all have about 20 to 30 HP, but they're just getting. Physically stronger. Yeah, it's, it's because uh, in RE, even at the end when you're facing like Crimson Heads, they don't take like extremely more bullets. Yeah. Except for that, no, oh, God. Crap, you remember the B Act? The what? The, the one Crimson Head. They called it B Act for some reason. Oh, remember? yeah. I didn't, why? That one Crimson Head in the coffin, he would not die. <laughs> yeah, he was invincible. Like, even on easy mode, he still took like four grenade shots. Yeah. No, no good. Actually, I recommend if you ever have a top, it's called uh, Resident Evil Rebirth. Ah. It's on uh, fanfiction.net. It's called Resident Evil Rebirth. It's like somebody novelized. Novelized? Is that even awkward? Novelized? They made a novel out of like. A novelization? The GameCube, yeah. They made a, a novel out of the GameCube something. remake. Oh, that's art. And. Ah, oh, there we go. It's not very well written. I mean, it's not bad for fan fiction in terms of how it's written because, well, let's face it, most fan fiction writers aren't. Mm -hmm. But the interesting thing about what we kept me reading was that it was a really interesting take. Like, almost, like, none of the Stars members died right away. Oh, cool. You know, like, usually when you first encounter them, like the Brawl team and stuff, they're, like, in the throes of death or they're already dead or something like that. No, yeah. for one, Joseph actually survives getting attacked by the dogs in the, you know, the opening sequence, you know, right in. And he stays with you for a while. Now, it's pretty much the same amount of people that survive by the end, but the other guys, like, actually stay alive for a while and help you, and nobody's ever really alone in any part of the house. Oh, good. So, it was just, it was a really interesting take. Really well, did, did you read, like, the, the Resident Evil game, uh, I guess it's called Novelization. By uh, Perry. It was, it was called what? Like, the, the novelizations of the games. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I read all of it. actual published yeah. book, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, that's all I read. It kind of sucked. It did. It was way too short for how long the game was. And one of the best scenes where Wesker first comes back, where you first find that he actually survived the first game, you know, when he... He just happens to walk up behind Claire, she's going inside the mansion, she's like, greetings. <laughs> yeah. Like, she totally, she totally skipped that part. Like, when he approaches Chris, after Chris, you know, comes to, back to the ruined place to rescue Claire, she's already gone. When he finds Wesker there, Wesker's like, hey, I heard you have a sister, is she hot? Because <laughs> I, and I, and I, I swear this is what he said, I, I'll, I'll, I'll never forget it. He goes, tell me, Chris, is your sister hot? Because I've got a heart on like you wouldn't believe. Oh! <laughs> it totally doesn't sound like anything Wesker would say. No, he not, doesn't sound like the kind of guy who would really. be interested sexually, period. I mean. Alright, the coast is clear. Let's go. Oh, actually, you know, I guess I knew something before everybody else. Hey, there's Jack. Yeah, she's walking gingerly. Well, she had a giant fireball, you know, consume her entire being for a few seconds. Sure. <laughs> She's probably a bit 
Yeah, so there's a, a North Mainfield base to get out of there. What's happening in a few weeks? No, she just lied to Amp. Oh, well. Uh, about how long she's known Traz. And she didn't expect Traz to be like, um, do you have a bad memory or something? Remember, it was just yesterday. Yeah, well, I guess he thinks there's a reason she would do that. Now, just out of curiosity, why did you make like a sl- you know a slang word out of remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? I don't know. I like how on your last Magoni in the Gathering deck, you're pure evil and can't be changed. <laughs> yeah, pure black. <laughs> Where'd y'all? Like, where'd y'all meet that dude, Alan? He was hilarious. He was, he, he was like, the, he stole the show during all the, you know, during all the videos we were making. Yeah, uh, actually, uh, he's, been, he's been my friend since ninth grade. Oh. He was like, White Town. Now, Black Town ends up being the town of Pure Evil. We're going to have some problems, <laughs> <and> sure enough. <laughs> oh, actually, it was not Jackal. It was Camille. Oh. I like how you kind of intensified the music here. Dude, even with the meager selection of scores that RPG Maker 1 has, you're already doing a much better job <laughs> in terms of composing music Ten and years ago. inserting it appropriately than Deadly Premonition, an actual game does. That's, mm. that's nice. <laughs> so basically, that was not Jackal. It was Camille, like, pretending to get close. Okay, so... Was Camille actually a real human girl before, and she got infected? No. Or is she secretly been this like this evil person the whole time, or whatever? All the time. <laughs> anger. This yeah. is anger. Yes, it's a selection of monsters. It's, it's one of the uh, one of the eight guardians of hell. Wait, what? Oh, we're not. <laughs> all right, so that's a double barrel check. Okay, so well, I'm about to assault rifle all this. Okay, but how is anger like three different? No, no, it's not. The only thing in the middle is anger. Oh, it's just being accompanied by. Okay. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So, uh, he's on another arc, which is Hidden Earth, which he'll only get if he's a healer. It costs 10 health, but whoever he gives you gets 15. Hey, when did Goblin make appearances in this game? Eh. <laughs> 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 so, let's see. I, if, I, if I do it to myself, it takes 10 away, then it gives me 15. So, I'll get to 20 HP. But it takes away 10 bullets? No, that's your life. This is an S. Oh, it's a tag. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point? Well, you would get five up. You might as well have just said it, you know, it costs one and we'll get back ten health or something, you know. Good up. Or don't make like a you know. Uh, so this well, is like okay, the thing is you, you can use it on you can use it on trash, right? Yes. Okay, well, I thought it was like a selfie thing, which just seems redundant. But I can see sacrifice your HP to help somebody else who's, you know, what I'm on HP. Yeah. So this is the fourth boss. Only eight in the game. Seriously, so. the game the I did. There's one coming. You get a lot of guns. Oh! Maybe it's that dude's pitchfork you taking off his dead body. It's called the Hill of Destruction. Alright, let me give Trask an HP. Yeah, that's 
kind of nice because kind of he's nice self he's self healing. So let's see. If I do that, no, he'll probably be in the danger zone on the highway to it. You know, I keep meaning to get on with my Final Fantasy VII a little bit, but the like the modded version that Lance is getting is so much harder than the original game. Yeah. And I, I like from the from the first day I decided I had to LP this game. I knew like I had to play on a highway to the danger zone during the part of clouds, you know. I'm trying to. Oh, the crazy, the crazy one is like a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Highway to the danger zone. There's nothing like Kenny Loggins to make a scene look more badass, you know? Absolutely. I think he's focusing all his anger on Traz. Well, actually, that's kind of good because Andy's. Yeah. Fork! Zombie Fork! <laughs> This fork, perfect. Huh? <laughs> what? Or no! Oh crap! Damn it, hurts. Yeah, dude. Might as well use them. Who? Who attacks first? I have no idea. Trans probably moves faster. So see, if he does it to him, I'll do it to himself. He'll get more. Oh shit! He can't do it. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! And he, and Am just learned a new secret art. Ooh, box of bullets. Ooh, piece of candy. Is that the? Is that from Family Guy? It was like when James Woods became obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> It's far from over. It's like he gave us Peter. He's skating. He's skating. <laughs> he just kept falling off the way up. To... <laughs> Look at you, Lefter, to die. You did the typical villain thing. You hit him with an attack that's not quite lethal. You know it. And you just expect that somehow they're never going to, you know, recover from it. Seriously, why do the villains just finish you off when they have the chance? Because it's the food. We're, right. ne we're never going to break this, this cycle. I don't know how else to say it. There's an old building to the north of the lake. And we should go there. He, uh, Amp just learned a new SR, which is Enrage. Oh, okay. So, that boosts up your combat efficiency. So, uh, oh. Amp. Actually, that sounds like a good trade-off. It is. Quite good. So, I mean, your stats kind of stay in the really low number of rounds. They do. Your attack is, what, 15 right now or something like that? My normal attack is 9. Yeah. But it's because it's a knife. You're supposed to have bullets. Well, I guess plus three isn't necessarily means it's going to add on three HP and damage. It will help. Let's see. Well, what's my stats? Oh, everybody's full health instead of that boss fight. Good. Huh. That's convenient. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? Boss fights hard. They're already hard. There's everything to make it harder. That's what they did in Star Ocean after a lot of boss fights. It's like you get all tore during that fight, but for some reason, just because it's over, full HP. Convenient, but it doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> when you should really be lying on the floor, you know, clutching your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> what about, like, world ending stuff? Like, you fight, like, Indalico from Star Wars 2, and he's, like, shooting you with, like, space beams and all that stuff. Fight who? Uh, and all kind of the... Did that thing? 
Alessio? Yeah, that's it. And the end Alessio. Well, that's how I pronounce it. I, I, don't, I thought it was like Endolica. Okay, well, you're, you're, I don't know. Describe what you're talking about. Maybe. Well, he's the final boss of Star Ocean Oh, okay, yeah. Where he's like, he's doing like meteors and uh, like, you'll be dead from any one of them. Yeah, I know. Kinda like most of boss fights in. Oh, Unlimited, how about that? You know, the first time I ever actually met Star Trek 2 was after doing all the optional stuff. Like, I never met Indalesio face to face on, like, normally. Oh. I only met him after, for some oh. his daughter, for some reason, she'd say, I want to help you. Here, let me make my father stronger. <laughs> yeah, take off the limiter. What, what, I don't know what the limiter was, but whatever it, like, made his HP show from 500,000 to 1.5 million. <laughs> Oh, this will help. <laughs> Maybe smells like three times as strong. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Now, now I can't win. So it's like you have to go through the cave trial in oh. order to get strong enough to. Do you almost walk through the wall? No. I guess. Well, while Lance is sitting here, they give you a hard time about the G. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Like I'm not holding it all. The oh, I never got that. Ah. Four bosses down and two to go. I mean, why are they two to go? They're eight. Four plus two is not eight. <laughs> okay, so where are we heading back to? Heading to the forest to get Jackal. Like, that cutscene happened, then Camille took her place. Oh, did Camille stupidly tell you where the jackal was? Yeah. Oh yeah, she was like electric to die before something like that. Because you know that's a smart thing to say. What? You know, you can actually go to her and help her if she's more than you did. Well, shut up! I actually come to think, if Jackal's lying in the forest like kind of unconscious right now, couldn't any zombie just come up and converge upon her? Maybe. Maybe. Just chow down? Could happen. But maybe it won't happen. He does well. Resident Evil 2, the you notice they the game this particular game over screen was only put in RE2, and I think some people thought it was so ridiculous. Capcom got enough feedback to where they went back to the original. But it's like if, if you get killed by zombies, if they deal with death blow to you, they you know they run you to the ground and they munch on you for a while, and then all of a sudden this comical mud splatter at the screen. <laughs> game over. So you just see the zombies munching on you the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh man. Oh, that was so gross. There was one time I was like, back in the first days of playing Ori when I wasn't that good at it. Yeah. I was playing as Claire. I think I was still trying to beat Scenario B with her. I was just trying to get through the game that way for the first time ever. And one just happened to, let's just say his head fell in the wrong place during the death sequence. Oh. It was kind of gross. <laughs> And like, like Lance just points it out, dude, I think he's eating. I was like, no. <laughs> I mean, you know, I know it was an accident. So just I'm eating sure. her. Yeah, but he's, he's eating her. Uh, oh my god. Oh, I got a good amount. And then I got scared when I saw it for the first time. I was like, oh no, they're not actually going to show like Sherry dying that way of a zombie. Oh, That man. would be horrible. <laughs> but no, for, for some reason she, the game of screen. It just goes black. She just suddenly, you know, is alone without a zombie. Anymore. No, because you know, zombies don't try to munch on her. They just, she's like so short. All they do is just like, well, if I can't reach down to eat your brains, I'm just going to vomit acid on you. Blech. I'm just gonna hurt you just for the heck of it. Good. If I can't eat you, no one, no one, no one will. Oh, you know what? I, probably, I can probably beat Algor now. Who? Algor. Oh, Lyra. The Lyra, yes. I, and actually, with Amp helping me, that would be a lot. I think, I hope easier. No, he's pretty strong anyway. Amp would probably get annihilated. I 
Like seriously, I started out hating Resident Evil because RE2 was so hard to me. Like I didn't get past the first screen when I first played the game without dying. Wow. I, because of, well, I had no idea what the tank controls were like, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> so and of course a bunch of zombies, you know, crowd around the police car as soon as you get out. This game will you and just kill you. But then it's like after a year of playing it constantly, suddenly it was like the easiest game in the world to me. Yeah. It, it's to where, I mean, you, you don't even need to say, you know you're not going to die. Yeah, just like a ritual. It's like what? A ritual. Yeah. You can, you can do a lot. So but there was one game, I, this is mainly why... Oh, it's him. It's mainly why I played Resident Evil, because I played the Reaper so I, I'll fight him. <laughs> I made a save already, so he should. I should be able to do something. Oh, not that. I mean, seriously, when I get to the point where I do invisible enemy mode on RE Remake and without saving, you know I've played that game one too many times. <laughs> so I, I had to, I had to give it up. It was an obsession. You had to give it up. I mean, I, I guess I wish I'd save the footage for you just to see it. To see my glory days as the king of RE. Yeah. Oh, this, this is a perfect opportunity to, uh, to use amps uh, in range. Yeah, absolutely. Crunch. Crunch. No. Oh. You left the word summon in there. Apparently. Was that right? Summon in rage. <laughs> summon in rage! Oh, I'm enraging the hell out of him again. Actually, I didn't seem to help him. No, I didn't. So, yes, I'll play. Okay, increase my three. So, let's go, attack. Let's go. There we go. It's starting to slowly work. That's nice. That was like a plus eight. I think I'll heal Traz. Well, so far it's paid to be a healer in 17. So far. So if I do if I do that, I'll have 15. He can't can he do 15. What? I'm trying to think of how we can do more than 15 damage to me. No. Alright. Tear. You know, six. Two, three. Yeah. Ooh. That's the nine. I'm not so sure about that. He's at 9 HP. He can't use it on himself now. That's not, that's no good. Do I have a comment? No, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. I'll let you have it. Guard. Ah! Damn it! Right there? Wound bomb. Hit. It is so useless. Three. When the enemy attacks before you, it is especially useless when you may not revive with one HP. Oh, they stare twice. Awesome. So in other words, had you just survived that last turn. Yeah. Oh, he does that charge more often. Make this go by faster. Yeah. Now my knife is doing as about as much as my gun. Well, a little less. Um, I guess I probably want more. Two more, probably. I'm not gonna risk it. Uh, nope, I am. I'm coming out of that. That's 
doing six damage, man. If only watch. Two. So, is that all you need to... Nah, I can get that weapon. Amp should be alive again, although he missed all the experience that Amp had. Yeah. So... There it is. A custom 9 millimeter. And what is that? It is a new weapon and it does 18 damage instead of 12. Still one bullet, but you're doing 18 damage. Cool. That's real nice. Very much worth it. And I will save. I actually kind of hate it. That three, three shot. shot. Yeah, it, it was it, worthless. It seemed it seemed to kind of waste ammo unless you had just excellent control over. Yeah, you your little shooting. But that was hard. Russ, <clears throat> Russ will save one hundred percent. Yeah, I want to save. What's up? So I've beaten Albor. Three times now. Bastard just keeps getting back up. Yeah, he, you can put him down like six times. It'd be great if he had like a. You could do like a little cutscene as soon as you left in the next building. Just the black screen. Just hit the right back up. Da da da. Da da. No, tank! <laughs> tank? No, this is the music for the tank. Da da da. Oh, your story tightens up so much. What? Your story tightens up every time you hear it. Yeah. We're on expert mode. Nobody dares say the word tank <laughs> or it makes, you know, or trust me, stop the music because if you do that, a tank is right around the corner. Don't even ask. Oh. Unfortunately, Traz cannot dig under the ground and whatnot. That would help. So he just like shortcut that. All right, we're going through the woods again. Two zombs. Oops. I can use my new custom line. Too bad you have to go all the way down there to do it though. Basically you're doing double taps. For free! Very useful. Alright, now this is the laboratory. Or oh, actually, this is north to the laboratory. Okay, great. Oh, new monsters. Great. Giant snake. Was that purposeful? Yeah, it's a giant snake. How else? What, what else no, is it? Is that meant to be a shout out to the yawn? Oh. Well, yeah, I guess I probably thought about it once. Oh! F you! I 
And he doesn't have them either. He doesn't even have my, my damn weapons. He has stolen them. Death Shadow, of course, doesn't have any bullets. He has stolen mine. No reason, just take them. Rest guards. Rest guards all the place, man. Actually, no, there were. Speaking of. Don't need bullets. There were two of those SD parry books I did read. Yeah. Like the two that were just completely original and weren't based off of another game. I read them. I they just were... remember briefly there was one that Rebecca was in and the zombies could actually shoot ones back at you. <laughs> <laughs> if I... Well, I mean, there it is. It's over. I mean, the zombies can. Uh. Totally, totally using that custom nine. So nice. The custom nine is my best weapon now. Well, except for the assault rifle, the spray and prayer. Oh, wrong way. Alright, here's the laboratory door. Oh, there she is. <laughs> that's it. Damn, she got it. Oh, no. Actually, how does Amp even know she's a woman? <laughs> oh, because uh, he told her in front of the armory. Oh. They, they, when they were when fake. Jackal was there. <laughs> Snap out of it, damn it! She's <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a little girl of horror. <laughs> <laughs> She's a zombie whore. Yeah, that will, that will not work. Okay. Oh, that's a that is a green chest. Laser. Thirty dash to a single creature. I've done she never even used the magnum yet. I have not used the magnum because it's it's too weak. I mean bullets are bullets, right? Yeah. So she can just shove them all into the magnum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How about that. Or I guess I haven't grasped how this works yet. What? Your bullets and your guns. Oh, bullet is just MP. So everything uses bullet. Right. Okay. So in that case, why use your handgun anymore if it's good? If no matter what, it's going to cost a single bullet. I mean, why not use the shotgun from the groups and the magnum? Because even though magnum still does not as much damage as you think, I mean, it's still better than the handgun, right? Yeah, but the handgun only costs one bullet. Oh, how does the magnum cost? Five. Oh, oh, duh, that's what those numbers mean. I yeah, yeah that, that was that, like, that's the cost. I, kept, I was thinking that was like the ammunition in your clip. No. Like the amount, <laughs> like you have five bullets left for, you know, your... I'm an idiot, sorry. Fo Photoidoprofen. Well, in that case, how on earth did you make it cost five bullets? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can, can you shoot? 
the magnum just once, just so I can see what sound it makes. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Faustus. Fiddle Okay, so there are chemicals on the table, and I have to mix them. Where do you think this came from? Ugh. The chemical equation. I thought it was interesting how Rebecca and Joe and Neil were smart enough to figure it out. I think I'm saying just because Chris was a man, he was too stupid to understand basic chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's four on the table. Regularia. It's kind of like Chris was the only one who wasn't capable of playing the piano either. Well, yeah, he was out of like musical talent. No, he could punch boulders though. He can do what? Punch boulders. <laughs> Bruce Banner? <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Tongue and cheek. Dino. Dinoxygen. Dinoxygen? Yeah. Flesh eating bacteria. Oh, life order. Okay. Um. Alright, so we're gonna like mix some chemicals. We're gonna have to mix some chemicals. Jack. Yes, in order to save our life. Seriously, uh, did you make up a mini game just like the one in RE? Yeah. Where you have to like, where a number represents a certain color. Oh no, not like that. Let's see. Uh, wait, I need. All right, so with Vidabel, it increases the survival rate. So. Alright, this is talking about Vitadel. So I need Vitadel. Photo did something. Photo. I, I was like, I think I only typed it once. Okay, I have to read that again, though. No, I must know what that said. Photo ID profit? Pho photo ID profit. Yes, photo ID profit. The miracle drug. So I need Vitadel. That. Uh, regularia. I don't know if I need regularia. <laughs> so I probably need Dostin for the Hydra. Alright, so Vitadel. I want Vitadel. I want Photo Hydrophen. And. Not regularia. I want. Dinoxygen, probably. Yeah, it makes it like, you know, little candelabra. Okay. Over here, you see, Dipho, Dipho to the. Oh, good. Oh, that was much easier than making me jolly. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. All right, so. I guess we'll leave leave it right here because it's coming uh, about forty minutes. Yeah. So next, next time, exciting episode, we'll save the jackal from Plant Forty Two. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. See you next video.